Wedding Confetti Club. It is Pixie and my bangs are so mad at me. I'm going to try vlogging my week, like vlogging just a little bit every day and then putting it all together in one exciting vlog. So I'm testing out new formats and I hope this is good. I know Ryland does vlogs like these and I know Graveyard Girl used to and I always really enjoyed them because that way if you have like one day and you're trying to vlog that day but it ends up being boring, that's okay because you can just keep like the fun entertaining bits of each day. Today is September 3rd. Um, it is Monday. School starts tomorrow, which is terrifying. That's also part of why I wanted to vlog this week. I just filmed. Da, 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 da. I just filmed my monthly favorites. I will edit that probably tomorrow because tonight is Wendy's birthday. Wendy is one of my best friggin' friends in the world. Um, she's one of the Moon Miss girls, and I love her so much. And we live in the same town now, and it's her birthday, and she's 19, which means she is legal drinking age now. And we're going to Boston Pizza and they have the best dwanks. Um, so I want to capture for you the gift wrapping process. I have painted three out of four walls in my office purple. They are a nice lavender. Actually, this is the color that's called confetti. And then this wall is still like sad beige waiting to be rainbow, but I'm gonna film that. So I'm waiting until I can do that. I found the cutest friggin' card. I love it so much and I was like, oh, that's cute. And then I got home and I realized that even the envelope is friggin' adorbs. This is a very Wendy card, I think. And I got some gift wrapping stuff. I really love this aesthetic pepper. I know I mentioned in a video a while ago that I got an extra Cure White Couposket, like the matte non-pearl version, by accident and the seller was just like, no, keep it. So I ended up selling that to Wendy and then at my Gamezilla in Fredericton, they had the Cure Black Couposket, so I got that for her too. So she will have the matching pair because I am a Precure enabler. Okay, so the good news is that I got Wendy some really cute mugs for her birthday too. The bad news is that I have no idea where I put them because she was coming over one day, so I hid them because they were just on my freaking table and now I, just, I don't know where they are. I found the mugs. She really loves constellations and also she's a Virgo. And I originally got it in blue and then I went back and they had it in pink and I was gonna return the blue one for the pink one and then I was like, they look so cute together. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give her both. And also these Hug To Precure stickers because they have them at Gamezilla and I am a weeb. I know! Oh, oh so yeah. he, he, he. I present you. <gasps> oh, <laughs> thank you! The best. Oh my god, do like know me? And I will Yes, oh. It's a two parter, but both of the things oh, like gosh. match. It goes with your skirt. Oh, bye. A good bye. Oh, oh, also, it has like onesie pattern on the tissue paper. Ignore that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am that. Virgo. I have two Virgo ones. Shit, is it is it the same as that one? Okay, thank God. And then I went back and they may or may not have had a similar thing and I may or may not have just got both. Okay, I have three Virgo mugs Okay, Yeah, I came in pink too. And I was like, okay, I'll return the blue one because like pink's better. And then I was like, they look so cute together. So like, I hope you like a beverage. They are cute. They are on Right? I thought so. Oh. I know it says you are my lucky star, <gasps> which you are, mother. That's so cute. Oh, I have this. Oh. oh no, do you already have that? No, but I have 
Okay, okay thank God. Yes, that's what I meant to do. I was like, I'm pretty sure I only had one. So now you have the the, the friggin' duo. That's you. Yeah, that's friggin' you. It's pink. It's pink. Wait, can you hold that up? That's the best thing ever. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Wendy. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Woo! I, I didn't think of a wish. I was thinking this is awkward. Oh, no. <laughs> make a wish. Make a wish. Go and spit on the cake. Yep. <laughs> yes. Do you want to tell me about your cord today, Jenny? This is my I love that. It's a beautiful addition. Oh, lovely. Grandparent. Fashion point. <laughs> I'll be okay. I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous. I wish I could take you with me. That would be quite extra. That would be quite extra. Good morning, me. Okay, it is like 11 something a.m. My first class ended early. It was supposed to go to 12, but she was just like, we're done here. We'll probably end here most days. So that's nice. So that means I have two hours for lunch. So we are ready to munch. I really want a strawberry milkshake. I'm really stressed. I got in there and started having a panic attack, but like I didn't see anyone I knew then. So I had to just like sit and try not to like look weird, but like I couldn't feel my face and my arms were doing the tingly thing. So I took an Ativan and now I'm better, but now I'm very tired. In the afternoon, I have another class, which is writing. And I don't know where that is, but I will find out. We are tired, oh but we're cute. Our fits kind of match oh, and we're crossing the street now. Friggin' 35th anniversary pom poms. Oh no. Oh, and they have Pokemons. This is cute. So it's an art store in the front, and then it is a toy store in the back. <laughs> I love him very much. Do you have something to say? <laughs> take that. Take that as a no. Oh my I couldn't think of anything. Are you forming a relationship with Orville? Yeah. Mm, he could be a beautiful addition to the apartment. What would you name that lobster? Alfred. G'day Alfie. Can I call him Weird Al as a nickname? Yeah. Okay, sick. I love him. I love him, but I do not have a baby. I am the baby. Could I hang it for Serena to play with? Is that weird? Am, is that like crossing the line into like cat mom, baby mom, blurring the lines? <laughs> Hey, I'm having a firm moment with this itty bitty teeny tiny baby paint set. <gasps> and these itty bitty teeny. Oh. <gasps> oh my lord. Oh, I might get a couple of things. I might get. Should I get a yellow one because it does it look the most like a paint set? Or should I get the pink one because it's pink? Oh, Alfie, help me pick. Oh, oh, <laughs> thank you, he has chosen. 
I went upstairs to my writing class and on the very first day of school, on the very first day of this writing for visual artists class, we went on a field trip down the street to the Beaver Brook Art Gallery. Uh, it was so exciting. I was so inspired. I love art. I've only ever been to one other art gallery because there's only one in my old province. We had to go through the art gallery and pick one piece that really inspired us that we wanted to write a critique on and I was so, so in love with this exhibition by Alexandria Eaton of all of these beautiful square pieces. Some are paintings and some are like woven wool and burlap. I just was standing there in awe for probably 20 minutes just looking at these pieces. I love them. I chose a wool and burlap piece that said she had a courageous heart with some really pretty tulips. And then my school day was over, but I did pop back to the campus for a sec, which is still covered in cute rainbow paint and rainbow bunting and hopscotch and chalk. And it's just, it's so, it's so cute. It's so cute. I love it. Wendy, how would you rate our first day of school? What's the scale? One to five. One is, oh, and five is, oh. I can't, no numbers. <laughs> I, I thought it was good. I was pretty happy. I, I like a asking me again when we actually start doing more things. And yeah, like that's fair. It's but, like, wasteful. It was actually good. In my opinion. Yeah, it was nice. I went on a field trip. People were nice to me. Two wins. I think that was a very successful first day of school. Um, I may or may not have been like drifting in and out of sleep a little bit during the lecture, but that's just because I'm not used to being awake this early and I freaked out and I had to take an Ativan and I was quite snoozy, but then we had a good lunch. We went on a field trip on the first day to the art gallery and I have not gone on a field trip in years. Like they would always promise it and then just be like, oh, sorry, like, the school doesn't have enough money or something or they'd be like oh no like we, we just can't sorry it didn't work so i haven't gone on a real honest to god field trip since like i feel like the end of elementary school maybe i'm lying i don't know but basically it was very nice i am so 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 tired now um but wendy and i went to walmart after we got some school supplies that we found out today that we needed um i'm going to call my mom and tell her how my first day of school was and try not to cry and then I'm going to nap so I will see you tomorrow hi guess what I didn't do today I didn't vlog but I did have a kind of hellish day so I can rant about it but first let's do an art haul let's go chronologically as the day went let me take you through my Wednesday I have an art haul does anyone care I'm a little bit I had my first drawing class today. It's drawing from observation. It was really nice. I love my drawing teacher. Um, something that I didn't know that they were gonna do is that they're just like, okay, and I think it's time for a break. Let's uh, meet back here in 15 to 20 minutes. And I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, like there's coffee places around, like freaking grab a snack. And I was like, are we gonna do this every day? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, that's sick. I love that. So I went and I got some snacks. I went to the art store that is connected to this new building the college has and it's called Endeavors and I really like it and I've been there twice. I, did I show it previously in the vlog? I think I showed a bunch of it. Anyway, so I went back to Endeavors because I had two and a half hours for lunch and I wanted to draw. Art haul, art haul, art haul. First of all, bag, cute, love him. Not interesting, slightly interesting. I got a little pad because I thought it was cute. It's bright pink. Um, with my blue background, it looks a little like salmon-y, but it is bright pink. Sketching some bull crap. I got a super duper happy looking set of colored pencils. They are very nice. Do you call them colored pencils or pencil crayons? In Canada, we say both. I think one is American and one is Canadian, but I can't remember which one. I think I usually say colored pencils, but ta-da. And there were a couple colors in there that I knew I would not be satisfied with. So I also got a couple of individual Faber Castell ones within my watermelon. Just these ones. I got a good pink and a good blue and a purple for drawing moon mist ideas and then a gold that looks quite sad. But anyway, I like metallics. Lining pen, 
Ta-da. I got another one of these itty bitty teeny tiny baby palettes because I am going to turn them into earrings because I am uh, insane. I am still going through a phase with these like big daisy happy flowers. It reminds me of like flower power 70s kind of vibes. Um, and they, they had a, a paint palette that is specifically supposed to look like a flower. I know a lot of them kind of look like flowers, but this one says flower and I love him. He makes me happy. I love working with acrylic paint. I used to really not like it and I preferred watercolor and now I'm completely the other way around and I can't wait to paint. I'm probably not gonna paint at all this semester um, because we do color theory next semester, like after Christmas, but I'm gonna paint at home because I'm feeling artistic and ready to. And I got this pack of pastel highlighters for taking notes. Usually, I see people buy highlighters that never use them, but I was in class with no highlighters and really wanted some to friggin' highlight some stuff. So far I've been underlining and these are really cute. I'm not sure if I showed the binder that I got, but it's this one. It is lav. I almost want to replace this with something pink because again, I um, am insane. Now the bitching begins. So my friend and I were texting and he was like, I'm at work and I forgot to bring lunch. And I was like, do you want my gross mac and cheese? And he was like, yes. <laughs> His work was like a 10 or 15 minute drive and I had never actually driven there, especially not from the school. But I was like, it's fine. I still have 45, 50 minutes before my next class starts. I will be fine. So I take my Subway mac and cheese thing that I only took a couple bites of and I took some trail mix too because I'm a responsible friend and I went. I paid for seven hours of parking. But the thing with the parkade is that if you get back and your spot is still empty and you still have time, then like it's okay. Like basically you pay when you go in with like for your number stall or anyone who else comes in can like cop your free parking that you left. It's like a meter, but a parkade. Anyway, so I go there, I bring the mac and cheese. He thought it was something else for some reason and he's lactose intolerant and didn't have his like magical pills that makes it so he can consume lactose. So anyway, I was like, I also brought trail mix cause I'm psychic. Anyway, that was fine. I left. The drive back was the worst driving experience I have had in this town yet. A, I'm still using Google Maps to get around everywhere and GPS and stuff because I don't know the area yet. B, I ran a red light like so by accident, but it was like, oh, I was just cruising and like, I'm not used to the city and I didn't even know there was like a light there and the car in front of me just like went and then I went and I looked up and like when I was already in the intersection and it was red and I just felt so bad. Like, I hate that. I, oh, I'm such a careful driver. I always signal. I always signal in roundabouts, which no one does, especially not here. And I just, I so just want to be that like pristine island driver. And I do still have a PEI license plate so I can, you know, if people see me driving kind of dumb, they can be like, oh, well, it's an islander. Like they don't know the area. Anyway, that made me feel really bad. And then the next light that I stopped at, I was like relentlessly catcalled by this group of three men standing there and ugh, my windows were down and I didn't want to make it obvious. Like I tried to play it off like I didn't hear them, but I heard them say something and I looked, I rolled my eyes and then I just looked ahead and I was too like paralyzed. This is so lame, but I was so nervous that I didn't even want to turn up my music or like put up my window. Cause I, I don't know, I, I was scared that that would make them be like, react or something that's lame i don't know maybe it's not but i was stuck at a red light which you're supposed to stop at um so i couldn't do anything so i just sat there with like my anime music and was just like <laughs> my like death glare anyway that was really annoying they wouldn't stop um but finally the light turned and i went parked in the parkade my spot was gone that is not that bad because like I was kind of asking for that by leaving it. But then I parked in a new spot, went down to pay. A, the guy at the pay thing was taking a while. So I was like, oh, I can't go. And then I realized I didn't take a picture of my number or memorize it, so I can't pay anyway. So I was like, it, I guess I'm just gonna go and probably get ticketed. So I walk like three, three or four blocks. It's a bit of a walk. It's probably like a four minute walk from the park aid to the school where my class was supposed to be at and I made a note because they were like, 
tomorrow your history tutorial class is what it's called there's history lecture and then there's history tutorial and they were like that class is not where it's usually gonna be but meet in the queen library in front of the queen library in this room this is where we meet and i wrote it in my notes app and i said yes i know where to go and i went there i was sweaty i was upset from the cat calling and the red light and the parking spot and there was a note on the door that was like hey this class with this dude at this time it's moved to this place that you've never heard of because you don't live here and i literally I'm like, I might have to skip the first day of this class. It's still, it's only the second day, so it's like the Facebook group isn't really up and running and like he doesn't have our email, so that the only way he could communicate this is by putting it on the door. So if you arrive like three minutes before your class is supposed to start, like Watashi did, you have three minutes to get to this new place. And I, for some reason in my mind, was like, I'm gonna have to drive there, which I don't think they would friggin' do to you because... There's one room that's on the campus, it's a new one that you do have to drive to. I, it's like a 15 minute walk, but if you're late, like, mm. it's a new building I had never been to, never seen. I Google Maps it, it says it's only 300 meters away, so I'm like, I got it. Also, I got Starbucks, which <laughs> may have been my mistake. Anyway, and I was like, you know what I really don't want? I really don't want to be the living meme that is showing up late with Starbucks. I don't think I was late. I think I was just barely on time, but I did walk in. It's, it's the public library, one of these rooms I had it in just temporarily. So I walk in and I'm like, hi, uh, is there an NBCCD class? And she's like, yes, just down the hall to the left. So I go down and down and down. I'm listening for any sign of life or people and I get to the end and there's like, a fucking baby and it's like the baby section and so i asked the like baby lady and i was like is there like a college class here because like i'm not too anyway that's not what i said i was like um is there like a college class somewhere here and she was like yes this room and then i walked in with my goddamn starbucks to all these people and i was like hi there was a baby i got confused i'm sorry <laughs> anyway it was fine. I think that's it. I think that's it. The rest of it was nice. I like my classmate. Oh, no, actually. The first thing that happened this morning <laughs> that I forgot about because I like blocked it out of my mind. I walk into my first class of the day and the college director is there and he's like, Vessi, eh? And I was like, yeah. He's like, first thing I was like, Jillian. He's like, you have a YouTube channel. It is the second day of school. I am trying to be normal. <laughs> God bless you, sir. It is not your fault. But anyway, this is like my homeroom. So this is the group of people I have most classes with. So it's been two days, if you can't orientation. He's like, you have a YouTube channel, eh? You got a blog there. And I'm like, mm -hmm, that's me. <laughs> He's like, you're from the island. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, so like, what do we search to find you? And I'm like, <laughs> anyway, so everyone knows I'm a YouTuber now. That was did not take very long, but anyway. I just, I'm proud of it. It's really special to me, and I love my job, and I love you guys, and I am really proud of it, and like, I think it's cool to be able to be like, yeah, I'm a freaking tuber, but I also do not want to walk into my college with my freaking rainbow bangs and my like Betsy Johnson purse and be like, hi. I'm Pixie Locks. I'm here for art school. Like, I did not want that to happen. I don't know. So if you're watching this and you're from my school, hi, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but other than that, it was a good day. People were really cool about it, actually. Some people came up to me after and they were like, that's cool. Can I look you up? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I like filming here. Is that weird? I was hoping the steam from the shower would get rid of like the little uh, wrinkly wrinkles, the little friggin' fold lines, but like, I just, I still like it. I know the lighting is not great, but. <sighs> Tomorrow I have off. I actually have no classes on Thursdays, which is really sick, but um, I just have so much work to do on other things, on Patreon, on YouTube thumbnails, and on like unpacking, and like my dishwasher is problematic, and my cat's here and I love her, hi. I'm gonna go and work and I love you, and cut to Thursday, maybe Friday. Hello, it is Friday. I did not vlog much. I don't know if I'll even show anything I did vlog from yesterday, cause I came down with the most debilitating migraine and I pretty much laid down for eight hours and got no work done and cried. I'm definitely a pain crier. If something hurts, I will just 
I will just cry and it's sad. So it was like my head already hurt. I was like fist in my eye under the blankets in bed, actually this couch for like hours. So that's where yesterday went. And I fucking missed school today because when I woke up, it was still bad. It's finally gone mostly. When I talk and like look at stuff, it kind of hurts. But anyway, this is not exciting. What is exciting is that my mom is here. My mom came to visit. Um today and tomorrow and I think she's leaving Sunday so she's staying for two nights um just to see me after my first week of school and be a mom and give head pats and such so that's exciting she also um <laughs> brought me curry from the island which is my favorite thing ever my favorite food and you can't get it like anywhere here we have looked I cannot find anywhere that serves Indian curry in Fredericton someone please SOS it's my favorite food and I I'm sad without it Anyway, yes, I feel better now. Uh, my mom is here. Uh, it's the weekend now. I think I can get all the work done that I need to do tomorrow. I think I can edit this vlog tonight with my mom. Can she just hang out? Mom, are you watching this right now as I edit it? I love you. Nina is excited to see my mom too. She's like, hey, I know you. I used to live with you. Anyway, right now we're going to go and get groceries, um, just like old times. Um, just like old times three weeks ago and uh, I'm excited to finally have food because right now my fridge is like just nesty and like uh, Cheese strings Leftover curry Syrup <laughs> Nesty <laughs> like it's problematic. Okay. I go now My mom and I went for a really nice drive and then walked across the bridge all the way across the st John River and we did some little shopping. I showed her that art store. We got a munch and bonded. It was really nice. I miss my mom so much and I just love her and it's nice to know that she's always just a little bit of a road trip away. And the next day that I filmed was actually Sunday. A bunch of my friends and I have started having weekly pre-cure potlucks. Um, it started out just as like the Moomas girls and I and a couple friends and now there's eight people that come over every week to marathon hug toe pre-cure and then whenever we get caught up they'll keep coming over every Sunday and we will just watch the newest episode Episode and we bring snacks and it's a very fun good bonding experience and I love it very much hi it is me an entire week later I did not conclude the vlog so here I am like I said at the beginning this is definitely a new vlog format for me doing a whole week and I struggled a lot I don't think I will do this again I might do a couple days at a time but I think trying to do my whole week like first of all look at the timestamp I'm pretty sure this video is like half an hour I also just I felt like such pressure to vlog every day even if it was like a day like Thursday where I just laid in bed for eight hours and like had a really really bad migraine so anyway I hope you enjoyed this um I think I definitely want to vlog more in the future but perhaps not a whole week I think that was very ambitious and now it's very long and uh Yes. That said, I posted this on Twitter, but I do want to say it here because it is about my snoo tube snail. <laughs> I have been having a really, really rough time um, trying to balance my schoolwork and my YouTube work. And because of that, my upload schedule has like suffered so bad, as you can probably see. It's just really random and not not good it's not good it makes me very sad so i'm going to try switching to one video a week every saturday for the next little while just while i like desperately try to like get my head above water and find my footing and get a schedule and figure out what's going on because i just like i don't know how to live my life anymore and i uh, yeah i've been dying <laughs> It's been, it's been really bad. It's been really bad. So, um, I knew college was gonna be work, but just the entire lifestyle and routine change is, it has, like, shooken me to my core. My core is shook. And I would rather try and put out one, like, nice, juicy, good video that I can actually put a little bit of time into the editing instead of just, like, frantically rushing it, like, at 10 p.m. with school the next morning at 9. Like, I want to actually make things that are half good and if i happen to have a second video those will go up on wednesdays just like normal but um it would be like an extra so if i am able to do two videos a week i will definitely try that but right now i'm going to set once a week on saturdays as my new goal so i'm really sorry but um I just, I think I need to do this at least for a month or two or a while just while I try and like 
figure out how to how to be me again figure out how to like be jillian vessie i love you so much i hope you enjoyed this anyway even though it was kind of random sporadic missed some days some days had like no talking and i just i don't know i don't know what i'm doing i love you very much i still hope it was entertaining and i will see you next week Ooh. yes i will see you in the next video which is not this one because this one is over bye